Welcome to Beaver Lake Landfill. Beaver Lake Landfill is one of six locations in Lac La Biche County where residents are able to bring in their waste and recycling for proper management and disposal. Improperly managed waste and recycling can negatively impact human health and our environment, including the air, water, and soil. During this tour, we will guide you through our landfill and show you our recycling programs, our waste management, and at the end of the tour, you will learn about how you can do your part to help reduce waste. The process starts here at the landfill office where the scale is located. When residents bring in a load of materials, they drive onto the scale. Each load is weighed on the scale, so we can keep track of how much is coming into the landfill. Our trained staff confirm the contents of each load. That way we can make sure all materials are handled properly. All loads coming into the landfill must have the waste and recyclables sorted. This is because waste cannot contaminate the recycling and recycling cannot go into the landfill with the waste. Hazardous waste and liquids over five liters are not accepted at the landfills and transfer stations. However, residents can bring in their hazardous waste to Lac La Biche County during the Household Hazardous Waste Roundups, which are held in June and October every year. There are different tipping fees based on what type of materials are being brought in. The tipping fees increase if the waste and recycling are mixed, so it's important to keep your waste and recycling sorted and separated. Residential waste and recycling less than 500 kilograms is free to bring in year-round. Check our website for details on tipping fees or call 780-623-6739. The ultimate goal is to reduce the amount of waste we create. This can be done through the four R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, and repurpose. The first R, reduce, means to reduce the number of materials you use. For example, if you are offered a bag for items you purchased, just say no. Or instead of buying something new because of a small repair that's needed, fix the item instead. If you're unable to reduce the amount of waste you produce, then items should be reused instead of throwing them away. The reuse centers at our landfills and transfer stations are a great way to reuse items. Residents can bring in items that they no longer use or need and leave them here for someone else that may have a need for it. It's kind of like a free garage sale. Repurposing is another great way to reduce waste. Items inside of the reuse center can even be repurposed. For example, check out these old jars. These can be repurposed into storage containers, drinking glasses, pen holders, and more. The options are endless. If you are unable to reduce, reuse, or repurpose, then recycling is another effective method of reducing waste. Recycling is the process of converting waste into reusable materials. Lac La Biche County has many recycling programs set up at all of the landfills and transfer sites to encourage everyone to recycle. Let's go over our different recycling programs. Cardboard and boxboard are accepted, but it must be flattened and clean. Paper, newsprint, magazines, and more are recyclable. Please note that if you're bringing in any shredded paper, we ask that you bag it in a clear bag. Plastics that are hard or rigid are the easiest to recycle, such as bottles and containers. However, just like all recycling, it must be clean. The general recycling process for plastic includes breaking it up into pieces, melting it, and then creating pellets. These pellets are then used to make new products. Did you know it can take up to 1,000 years for a plastic bag or bottle to decompose? Electronics are also recyclable. Did you know anything with a plug-in cord or battery can be recycled? This includes cell phones, computers, laptops, etc. Electronics are taken apart and the metal, plastic and glass are made into new products. Agricultural baling twine is recyclable and can be collected using clear bags which are provided to agricultural producers for free. It must be free of soil and other contaminants. Number six styrofoam is recycled by breaking it down and heating it up. It can then be molded into new products such as cupboard doors and baseboards. Did you know it can take more than a million years to decompose styrofoam? Paints, stains, and finishes can be brought here for recycling. 
Not only are the cans recycled, but also the paint itself is recycled into new paint. Batteries of all types can be recycled. It is important to keep batteries separated based on each type you have. Also, if you have any 6 volt or 9 volt batteries, we ask that you apply electrical tape to the terminals for your safety and ours. Tires are important to recycle. They do not break down in landfills, so it's essential to bring them here for proper management. To recycle the tires, they are shredded and the metal is removed. The rubber then gets produced into new things like asphalt on the roads, or it can even replace the sand in playgrounds. This can be seen at some of the local playgrounds in Lac La Biche County. Propane tanks and fire extinguishers are recyclable, but the tanks must be empty and vented out in order to be safely recycled. All types of lighting can be recycled. Any fluorescent tubes that are received go into a bulb crusher, which crushes the glass while safely removing hazardous gases that are released. Metals of all types and sizes are recyclable. Any metal from aluminum cans to cars can be recycled. We also recycle all types of appliances and are sure to remove Freon when it is present. Metal is crushed, baled, and melted down to make new products. Cement, asphalt, and gravel is recycled at our sites. It gets crushed by a cement crusher and any metal is removed by magnets. The crushed up materials can then be reused for construction projects. All the wood that is brought on site gets chipped up into small pieces. A magnet is used to remove all metals, nails, and hardware. The chips are then as cover on our landfill. Landfill cover will be discussed later on in this tour. Soil is also used as cover on the landfill. Used motor oil is recycled in this white tank, which prevents the oil from leaking out into the environment. The recycled oil is made into new oil or other oil-based products. Oil filters and containers are also recycled. Pesticide and fertilizer containers from agricultural producers are recyclable. However, they need to be rinsed before they can be recycled. It is important to note that all of these recycling programs are available at every landfill and transfer station in Lac La Biche County. Now that we've reviewed the recycling programs, let's discuss organic waste. Organic waste is materials such as yard waste and food waste. Organics make up about 30% of residential waste, so it's important to keep this out of the landfills. Lac La Biche County sells composters at a reduced price to encourage residents to compost organic waste in their own backyard. Plus, the county offers annual composting workshops for residents. Currently, there is a compost pad being constructed at Beaver Lake Landfill. Construction is set to be complete by 2022. This compost pad will only accept yard waste at this time, so residents will be able to bring in materials such as grass clippings to be composted. Any items that cannot be reused, recycled, repurposed, or composted would be considered waste. All waste needs to be disposed of in the landfill cell. The landfill cell holds all waste and has a clay liner on the bottom to prevent rainwater and other liquids from leaching out into the environment, causing pollution. To ensure that the liner is working correctly, there are groundwater monitoring wells located throughout the perimeter of the landfill. These wells are monitored to confirm that there is no hazardous leachate from the landfill cell. Once the waste is offloaded onto the landfill cell, a bulldozer then spreads the material across the active face. After the material is evenly spread out, the compactor comes and rolls over the material, which breaks up the material and compacts it into the ground. Whenever the landfill is closed, the landfill cell must be covered. This cover helps to prevent the waste from being strewn into the surrounding environment by animals or wind. Materials such as soil or wood chips can be used to cover the active face. These large metal sheets, called cover plates, are also used as cover. One other method to prevent waste from being blown into the surrounding environment is the use of wind fences. These fences are placed around the perimeter of the landfill to catch any waste that may be blowing in the wind. Did you know that transfer stations do not have a landfill cell? That is the main difference between a landfill and a transfer station. 
Instead of a landfill cell, transfer stations have large bins to store waste and recycling materials, which are then transferred off-site once full. Since transfer stations only have bins, they do have limited capacity. So, we ask that any large loads are taken to either Beaver Lake Landfill or Plamondon Landfill. As we previously mentioned, Lac La Biche County has two landfills and four transfer stations conveniently located for residents' use. These sites include Beaver Lake Landfill, Plamondon Landfill, Craigan Transfer Station, High Low Transfer Station, Ridge Lake Transfer Station, and Owl River Transfer Station. Remember, all recycling programs are the same at every site. It's important to remember that each landfill has a lifespan which is dependent upon how full the pit is. Landfills cannot be emptied or moved once full, nor can they ever be fully reclaimed. This is why it's important for everyone to reduce their waste as much as possible. You can do your part by reducing use, reusing items, recycling materials, composting organic waste, and disposing of waste properly. What Goes Where is a tool that Lac La Biche County provides for residents to guide them through the recycling programs and other important information on waste management. This document is available on our website, or you can email green at laclabichecounty.com or call 780-623-6739 for more information. Thank you for taking the time to tour our sites and to learn about waste and recycling management in Lac La Biche County. We hope you were able to learn lots about our site and how you can do your part to help us achieve our recycling goals.